Chinese. Varen is the author of the best-selling The Secrets of Chinese Kempo Karate and has just recently finished his fourth book entitled Nunchakas. I would now like to introduce you to Mr. Ed Parker. Ed, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Oh, nice to be here, Al. Ed, before we go into some questions, perhaps you could tell us something on your background in the martial arts, like how you started, for instance. Well, I uh, grew up in Honolulu, and of course the area that I grew up in was, uh, I guess it was like East Los Angeles. And Mm -hmm. in such areas as New York, where you have to pretty much defend yourselves at all times. And in order to uh, uphold my father's standards and what he had. Assisting me is Larry Tatum. You know, the art really is a fascinating uh, subject. And I'm going to show you how it parallels more or less the things that surround us on a daily basis. Like, for instance, when we learn the English language, we learn, we learn A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so forth. Likewise, each and every movement that's learned is the same thing. Now, for instance, getting down, <clears throat> Mr. Taylor will be using an inward ball. To martial arts and body motions, I'm your host, Al Garza. My co-host will be Mr. Vernon Wells, and my special guest will be Mr. Jimmy H. Wu. And what you've just seen right now has been a demonstration of Sun Tzu Kung Fu. Or should I say Kung Fu Sun Tzu, Mr. Wu? Mm -hmm. Yes, Kung Fu Sun Tzu has come from my family for uh, five generations, from my granddad, granddad. He learned it from the monks there, they passed it on down to five generations from, from my family to me. To learn that I come the first man in United United to teach in Sun Tzu. So you're the first man that has taught Sun Tzu in the United States. Mm. Is it, did it stem from the monasteries? Yeah, did, uh, Sun Tzu come from the monastery from the base of Kung Fu. They based it out the Kung Fu technique for the Sun Tzu for comedies and punching kicks and uh, leverage. <laughs> Is that the right title for you, or is it Elder? Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess it's Grand Master in the sense that I founded the art, but mm -hmm. uh, I feel so young, I feel so old when somebody referred to me as a Grand Master. <laughs> you know, I read a piece just referring to me as it just a, a regular practitioner. Regular master. Well, well, master is, I think that should be served for God. Now, uh, what, uh, is there anything that's unique about the style of Lima Lama that's a lot different than the other arts? Notice, I noticed, I noticed the wrist manipulation. The wrist uh, I think that's one of the most, the relaxed attitude, mm -hmm. uh, the penetrating power. I mean, you don't tense up on anything. I guess it comes a lot from, from the attitude of the person uh, and the attitude of Polynesian people. Uh, they look at fighting as something like it's not a threat, but rather a compliment. Compliment. We're going to go into a demonstration now. So if you want to take your jacket off and we're ready to go. Well, I'm just going to do some kind of thing out there where there is a small little thing. I'll talk as I go along. Okay, so that'll be fine. Lipid. Great. What I'm going to do here, Al, is just to show you a variation of the relaxed movement uh, from our own application. Uh, but yet, still have a little impact. In that sort of kind of relaxed attitude. Uh, move. Uh, what I'm doing here is just a little check because it's not necessary to punch. You can see right there, what's the use? Now, what I'm gonna go do for you right now is what they call lay. In a better light. First, there are hand techniques, utilizing mainly the hands. Then there are hip techniques, which utilize the hip. And there are foot techniques which utilize the feet. There are also specialty techniques. Some are in combination, some are 
just plain specialty techniques. This is one of them. This is called a spinning uchimata. Another one is a counter to a seonage. Mr. Jeloma will demonstrate the seonage first, and I will counter that same technique. Hayward was also the best judo man of the year for Black Bell Magazines in the Hall of Fame for 1968. And Hayward, how did you, uh, maybe you can tell us something about your uh, background in judo. Well, I studied Jap in Japan for about two years, and uh, then I came back over here. I originally started over here, but uh, then uh, I wanted to really develop in, in my judo, so I went to Japan. Mm -hmm. And there I found out that uh, what real judo was and that was just a legalized method of mayhem. <laughs> and they just beat the heck out of me. And that's about all I could tell you about Japan. Japan. OK, what, is, what does judo mean? Judo means gentle art, believe it or not. It's kind of hard to see the gentleness. But actually, you're taking the most effective forms. And the main thing is to get maximum efficiency with minimum effort. Now, uh, you see proper placement of hips, uh, proper pulling positioning. There's a lot of things that are involved in, in the physics. What you have just viewed are some of the techniques that are used in judo. This is Takayuki Kubota, chief instructor, master of the International Karate Association. He's demonstrating now basic learning form and technique of the sok karate, the style that he developed himself in Japan, several years. Gosok means strong and fast. Now, notice what freestyle for tournament. Grandmaster Art Wong demonstrating tiger form. Mr. Wong was a master or grandmaster on the forms of Shole Foot and the five animal systems. Tiger, crane, snake, dragon, and leopard. Academy. Richard, uh, welcome to the World of Martial Arts. My pleasure, sir. And can you explain a little bit of what the um, students were doing while they were working out? Uh, at the IMB Academy, we practiced three ranges of the martial arts. And when you saw the long range weaponry of the sticks, those represent the Filipino martial arts of Kali, Eskrima, or INS. And when you saw the tie pads and the uh, focus gloves coming out, uh, we practiced the Muay Thai um, from Thailand and Western boxing. And when we're there on the ground doing the grappling, we do standing grappling, uh, jiu-jitsu, aikido, and the ground, um, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and catches cats can wrestling. Um, Rich, you've been in the martial arts for what, over 30 years? or 30 years as a kid. I used to practice a lot, yes. And did you start off in the Hawaiian Islands or here in the States? Uh, I was born and raised in, in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, my first martial arts was uh, judo for about under a year. And <laughs> Bye-bye. 